So we just got an email that asked how I would use a spring bar and why I would spend so much money on a tent. January 30th, Southern Wisconsin. I think we should answer that. Windchill readings 29 below to 39 below zero. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts to around 30 miles an hour. The 4 p.m. weather observations across Wisconsin and nearby states. So why do we use a spring bar? Well, oh no! All right, it's minus thirty, and I'm inside a spring bar, as you can see. It's minus thirty outside. I got a buddy heater in the corner that is on high. And uh, you can still see my breath, as you can tell. Yep. But it's still quite warm in here to where I can unzip jacket and I could relax if I wanted to. Now, I don't know if you know, January 30th, 2019 in Wisconsin, you can Google it right now and tell you how cold it is outside in uh, this area. So we got a lot of people that uh, don't understand how or basically it's not so much a spring bar, but it's canvas tents in general. Basically, they never thought of it. They think they're too heavy. They think that uh, it's not practical. Well, as you can see in the beginning, it's very practical because they're tough. It's that simple. And I'm sorry for the autofocus. It's getting dark out. But uh, they're very tough. Very, very tough. And uh, I need reliability. So if I stop when I'm on a motorcycle and if it starts raining when I'm riding wherever I'm going, I don't want to have to worry about the quality of a tent. I don't want to have to worry about if, oh my God, it's going to be too hot or somehow it got wet on the inside or whatever. Canvas tents are great in the summer because they breathe they don't have condensation because they breathe canvas breathe in the winter they're great as you can see they hold heat so now everybody goes well what about the weight well even what do they call it? moto camping with the guys on like the bmws or whatever those guys write write me a lot you know they're like, that's ridiculous. Well, that's a different style of camping than what I do. I do more touring. So wherever I go, I'm going to be there for a few days, maybe, or whatever. So when I'm not with the wife, I bring a two-man. Now, everybody's like, how do you strap that on a bike? That thing weighs a ton. Well, let's go over that. So I strap mine on a tour pack. Right there tour pack man this thing is not focusing it must be because it's getting dark but either way so i strap mine to a tour pack and uh compact two from spring bar pretty simplistic jesus man am i apologizing for this um compact two from spring bar 10 by 36 that's the pack size 22 pounds damn that's not that heavy. Tour pack, weight limit's 50 pounds. Strap it to a sissy bar. Outfitter 3. 12 by 35 pack size. Pack weight, 34 pounds. Man. So what do I mean by the bigger ones, the 10 by 10s, I carry on a trailer? Well, let me show you. Okay, here it is. This is my little trailer I made out of a Harbor Freight trailer. 
See this top right here? This is what I strap the tent to. I just put it on the top and off I go. I got my little cooler spot. I'm redoing some things. I'm painting it. It's snowing. But yeah, this is just a little Harbor Freight trailer that I made a top for and strapped the tent to the top and off I go. So there you go. It's really not that hard. So, people say bad weather at rallies. Well, you don't believe that there's bad weather at rallies? How about... Very bad weather. Okay. You wouldn't believe at how many people buy cheap tents at rallies, and then they leave them there when they leave. It's insane. I'm not doing that. I want to know that wherever I stop and I make my home, then that's where I do it. And I need reliability. And I want to be comfortable. That's all there is to it. Now, this isn't bushcraft. This isn't, uh, like, hiking-style camping, I guess. There's other guys for that. That's not what I do. Uh, Luke, Outdoor Gear Review. Great channel for that stuff. Uh, what is that? Darwin in the Woods. Great channel for that stuff. That's not what this is about. So basically, as you notice, a lot of the things that I do, like my MSS sleeping bag, it's the same thing. It's universal for year-round use. I can always, it doesn't matter how cold, it doesn't matter how warm. I have something for every part. Now, I've been trapped coming home and didn't quite make it home on the bike where it was, jeez, 8 degrees, you know, and I wasn't going to keep pushing. I'm going to freeze my ass off. Another thing with this... <laughs> Hail. Hail. Perfect example. The spring bars have awnings off the front. I can pull my bike under it. And there you go. Problem solved. Bike's not getting hit with a bunch of hail. So there is a point. And there is a way to do it. Now as far as the spring bar company... I've talked to them. I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever. And I, I make that point because, hell, I wish I was sponsored by them. It'd be a lot better. But I'm not. This tent that I'm in right now is 19 years old. That's an old-ass tent. It's just as good. The picture in the beginning is what it looks like right now. I put it out because I thought a mouse might have got in it. And it snowed. And now it's cold. So I figured I'd prove a point. So John, I won't say your last name. That is why I choose Spring Bar. USA made. Is it worth the money? You damn right. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good one.